Your morning coffee habit may be affecting your blood sugar. So let's rethink your coffee timing. Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and today I'm giving you some good tips. If you love to start your day with coffee, don't fret. Me too. We're not suggesting you to quit. Who cares? You have to have your coffee, right? However, when you sip your beloved roast, it could really affect your blood sugar, and you know it. The timing of your coffee, not necessarily that you're drinking it, but exactly the timing may be the key. A study in the British Journal of Nutrition found that having coffee before breakfast following a restless night can potentially harm your blood glucose control. Even with a restful night, you will see if you have a CGM, you'll see that you drink your coffee, you do nothing else, and your blood sugar skyrockets. Those people who are using Freestyle Libra and Dexcom can see that very clearly. Now, essentially, if, especially if you didn't have a good night's sleep, you might be swapping tiredness for elevated blood sugar. The study involved 29 health participants divided into three categories. Those with a good night's sleep who drank hot water in the morning, or in this case, you don't drink hot water, but you can drink diabetes, right? Now we have a new tea that you can enjoy in the morning. If you're not that big on the coffee, if you can wait a little bit, maybe you can drink your tea first, which is diabetes at sugarmds.com. Anyway, but those with poor sleep who also drank hot water and those with poor sleep who consumed strong black coffee, they compared them, right? The following either water or coffee, everyone received a glucose dose and, you know, something that has sugar in it. And their glucose levels were checked, their mood, their hunger were monitored for two hours. Surprisingly, the study indicated that one restless night did not disrupt the glucose tolerance as much, which is nice, right? Or insulin response compared to a full night's rest. And other research has shown that the ongoing sleep disruption, though, and poor sleep are tied to heightening obesity-related metabolic risks. I talk about sleep a lot. It's very important. You know, you have to sleep. You have to have a sleep hygiene, go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. A lot of people use sugar MD sleep support, which helps. It's not a miracle. Don't expect to make it similar to Ambien. It's not like a strong medicine, but it will help you to establish your sleep routine for sure. Now, one sleepless night here and there is not a big concern, but if you are having problems sleeping every night, that bad sleep coupled with strong coffee in the morning dramatically increase blood sugar levels in that study. In other words, early morning coffee could restrict your sugar tolerance from breakfast food. Now let's talk about the breakfast first approach. So why worry about raised blood sugar after your morning coffee, right? So we can fix that. Continuously using coffee to perk up following poor sleep could cause more serious health issues down the road. For example, caffeine which we talked about this before, obstruct something called adenosine, an organic compound that promotes sleep and delivers energy to cells. By blocking that adenosine, your muscles may actually struggle to absorb and use glucose, leaving more glucose in your bloodstream. In addition to that, caffeine can diminish your insulin sensitivity by inducing adrenaline which inhibits insulin's action or makes you more insulin resistant. It also provokes cortisol production, which is a stress hormone that goes up, especially in the morning, and that elevates the glucose production and the blood sugar levels. Now, these impacts are amplified by poor sleep. Now, insufficient sleep prompts your body to release like, cortisol even further, impeding glucose metabolism and disrupting your body's control over your blood sugar. Now, a temporary spike in glucose levels may not seem alarming. However, chronic high blood sugar, what we call hyperglycemia, right, can lead to your blood vessels hardening, which is the main reason why you're getting complications from diabetes. This can progress to atherosclerosis, where the fats and cholesterol and other substances accumulate on your artery walls, hindering the blood flow. If it obstructs a big artery, then you get a stroke or heart attack. With the small arteries, you get eye disease, kidney disease, and nerve disease. So how do we lower sugar spikes with the coffee, right? So eating before coffee. The good news is that you don't have to forego the coffee altogether to keep your blood sugar in check. What you can do 
eat first. Eat a breakfast first, which can help control sugar spikes and regulate your insulin levels. Just don't eat like super carby stuff in the morning. Now, this is particularly crucial because high blood sugar and type 2 diabetes, especially in the morning, is more difficult to control. A hearty breakfast daily may not be your cup of tea. A lot of people don't like breakfast, but even a light meal, light breakfast, can help to start your day and keep your blood sugars under control. Maybe a green banana, an unripe banana, some high fat, high protein yogurt, a multigrain uh, low carb toast if you have to have your toast will do the trick, especially if you put some eggs on it, some avocado, then you're gonna have a great start to your day and your blood sugars will behave much better. So in light of these findings, it may be prudent to consider adjunct solutions to assist in those glucose regulations, particularly with a perchant for pre-breakfast caffeine. Now, we also know that a lot of you are using sugar MD supplements, which emerge from compelling research dedicated to supporting healthy blood sugar levels. They are not medications, but they are nutraceuticals, which help you dramatically if you use it in the long term. Now, of course, these are all formulated with clinically tested ingredient, not the FDA approved ingredients, but clinically tested and these supplements could serve as a potential ally for you. So go to sugarmds.com, check our website. We have a new quiz section where you can actually identify what your needs are if you don't know what to pick, and that's gonna be very helpful. And we have now combos where you can do combination with the supplements, which will benefit you the most, and also save you a few bucks, which you will be happy with. Now these supplements will help you to complement that balanced breakfast, but it's not to replace your medications or medical advice. So a lot of people, you know, go one or the other. But again, you know, supplements are supplements. You have to think them as a good nutraceutical helping you in your health that medications will not provide. But sometimes medications have a role, so you cannot totally ignore them. Like I said, most supplements can be combined, so don't be scared. They're not medications, uh, and you can take the quiz on our website to find out what you need. Anyhow, try these quick and wholesome breakfast ideas that I also have in my book. It's called Doctor's Guide to Diabetes. It is available on our website. It's available on Amazon as an ebook. It's available as a print book that you can get from our website. So all the good stuff. So for example, let me give you a couple examples. What's wrong with scrambled eggs with some spinach, right? So protein rich eggs scrambled with iron packed spinach provide a nutrient dense to start your day supporting your muscle function and blood sugar stabilization. We talked about avocado toast on a whole grain bread. You know, these monounsaturated fats in the avocado not only improve your heart health, but because they, these are complex carbohydrates in your whole grain bread will furnish sustained energy release because if you are having fat, healthy fats with your carbs, your blood sugar spikes will be much less like Greek yogurt with nuts another day, right? And seeds, you can do that. That will offer a symphony of proteins and healthy fats, not only to give you satiety, but also assist in curtailing those postprandial or after meal blood sugar spikes. Again, go ahead and incorporate these nutritious options for your breakfast routine, and you can expect to enhance your metabolic response, even with the coffee, as long as you have the coffee right after. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share this video and I'll see you at sugarmds.com. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.